Hello everybody, this is Carlos. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss three securement devices for your central lines, namely your pick lines. The first one that we're going to discuss is probably the most popular one, is the stat lock. Okay, the second one we're going to discuss is called the grip lock. And the last one we're going to discuss is called the click fix. And I want to show you how to apply them and remove them in our fictional patient right here. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start with our stat lock, and this is the packages that come uh, in it. Uh, now, for all three, we're gonna have universal precautions. Um, when we change in any central lines, dressings and stuff, the patients must wear a mask. And the reason why is because we don't want the patients to accidentally cough and sneeze in. Sometimes when patients are a little talkative and you know they are in a good mood, they just want to talk to us. Uh, we don't want the uh, patients to accidentally cough or sneeze onto uh, the site because then it can be one of the sources of infection. So uh, once we have done that and we have removed the previous dressing, just a few cardinal rules. Number one, clean it with the chlorhexidine, okay? And you're gonna start cleaning from the center, okay? Always from center to peripheral or from clean to dirty, okay? And once we have cleaned that up, you're gonna let the side uh, dry for a bit. Now, when it comes to the stat lock, you're gonna see that this one, let me move the patient's arm a bit, okay? The stat locks here, they're actually quite good because they have these two little pores over here. Um, the blue, uh, almost like two spikes there. And you're gonna see that the two openings in there, they just kind of spike in. I always recommend that you put the stat lock in uh, and then once it actually clicks and clicks on this side then you can maneuver the line to try to put it try to give the skin a little bit of a break so don't put it don't stick it on the same spot uh, try to move it just adjacently now what's the difference if you put the stat lock first on the skin and then you maneuver the pick line now you have to adjust the pick line to the stat lock and sometimes what ends up happening is that we might accidentally pull out some of the pick line and we don't want that any part of the pick line that comes out should never, never, never be pushed back in into the patient, okay? So, once that we have uh, secured this part over here, you're gonna see that there's two wings at the back. So we're gonna remove one wing from this side for the start lock, stick it onto the patient, and remove the other one on this side. Now, now that we have done that, we're gonna cover it with a dressing, and our dressing of choice is gonna be this one, the Tegader Infirm, okay? I'm gonna use the same dressing for all three. These are all expired supplies so that we don't uh, waste additional supplies for that but you're gonna get the idea once you peel this off okay so we're gonna peel this film off and it just goes very nicely onto the actual line itself as such and once we're done you just remove remove the edges and change the dressing as needed and as per your organization's uh, policy now, this is the, uh, the stat lock. Now, to remove the stat lock, we start by removing the transparent Tegaderm film. And if the actual wings don't come out very easily, the next thing that you can do is, always for all of this, grab a little piece of alcohol swab, okay? And once you moisten the wings like this with alcohol, they will peel off from the skin uh, much much more easier okay and always remember when you remove any of the uh, uh, securement devices always pull it towards the patient again it's because you don't want to pull it away because then your pick line can migrate outwards so we're just going to open one side open the other take out the pick line and this is part even here remove with alcohol uh, so that if it becomes too sticky and it cannot be removed okay so that is the stat lock itself the next one, team, that we're gonna go over is this little device called uh, Click Fix, and this is from the company called Brown. And it, the packaging looks like this. This is the Brown, okay, and this is the Click Fix. It looks like this. You're gonna see that this one also has arrows. The arrows always point towards the heart, okay, because that's where the pick line goes, always towards the heart. So, how does this one also work? Same thing. Once we have cleaned our site with a chlorhexidine, okay, uh, and we remove uh, the previous dressing, uh, of course, what we're gonna do is, you, you're gonna notice that this one here has this little piece of paper as a securement. This is what the adhesive is underneath. So we're gonna remove the adhesive, 
and then you're gonna put the line it's gonna sit right here as such okay and when you close it please notice that there's a little gap right here and this is where you want to hear this click once a part has gone in same thing like the start lock you peel off the wing from one side peel the wing from the other side and just like our stat lock, we're gonna cover it with another pterodactyl transparent film. And you change that, uh, same thing in your, uh, for your organization policy and as needed. How do we remove this? And this becomes the exact same thing. You're gonna use an alcohol swab. Open your alcohol swab, and all you need to do is just moisten the size, okay? And before we start, uh, and how do we remove this? Very simple. All you need to do is just press and click, okay? And it opens back up. You're gonna see that there's a little bit of stickiness because this is where the adhesive that secures the line. So you remove that, okay? And this part just comes right off. And that's how we apply and remove the click fix. Lastly, I'm gonna show you one last brand and this one is called the grip lock. You might have seen this one that look very similar to the Foley catheter uh, securement devices and you are correct. This is just a smaller version for the central lines, okay? So same principles apply. We are going to clean our sidewall chlorhexidine and this one over here, when you open, you can see you peel off from here and there's this little stickiness that says pull. When you pull from here, you're gonna find that all the adhesive is under there and that is where you're going to put your port you're not going to put the line you're going to actually put your port uh the actual hub in the middle there and why is because the hub is where we'll have the most grip on it like this okay once that's done we just again peel the wings one side to the other one okay and just as previous you're going to apply a tegaderm film to cover it and we're gonna change it as per organization policy. To remove that, same thing. You're gonna use an alcohol swab again. We are going to moisten the size over here. Okay, and you're gonna see that you peel this off and this part over here, we just need to just lift it up. And this brand here makes it a little bit stickier and actually it's actually quite good because then it grabs onto the line quite a bit. So once this is out, close this part and then you can remove this. And if it becomes too sticky, apply more alcohol until everything comes off. And that team is how we change our central line dressings at uh, securement devices with the three brands. Thank you.